Welcome everyone. So this one is actually very tricky. We have x raised to x raised to 2023 and this is equal to 2023. So in order to find x raised to x raised to or rather value of x, what we can do is we can substitute x raised to 2023 equals to y. Therefore, I can say that x is equals to y raised to 1 upon 2023 right using the logic a raised to m equals to n therefore a is also equals to sorry equals to n raised to 1 upon m we're taking the mth root okay so using that particular logic so now i can say instead of this x i'll write this y so we have y raised to 1 upon 2023 the whole raised to x raised to 2023 can be written as just y. This is the substitution. Right. So then what I can say this here you will get equal to what 2023 only. Okay. Now what I can take is I can interchange these two. Right. Because we know that a raised to m the whole raised to n is also equals to a raised to n the whole raised to m. Because they eventually become what a raised to m into n. Right. So this will become what y raised to y, the whole raised to 1 upon 2 to 0 to 3. And this is now going to make it equal to what? 2, 0, 2, 3. Now taking the 20, third, sorry, we actually take the 2, 2, 0, 2, 3 power on both these sides. So then what you do is you are going to just multiply this by 2, 0, 2, 3 and this 2, 0, 2, 3. This also becomes 2, 0, 2, 3. Right? And if you see clearly, since this is getting multiplied, this will cancel. So, we have y raised to y is equals to 2, 0, 2, 3. Therefore, I can say y is nothing but what? Sorry, 2, 0, 2, 3 raised to 2, 0, 2, 3. Therefore, I can say y is nothing but what? Just 2, 0, 2, 3. Right? Now, I need to find the value of x. Therefore, I can say x is nothing but what? 2, 0, 2, 3, the whole raised to 1 upon 2, 0, 2, 3. Now, if you want to substitute, okay, we substitute this value over here. So, this x is now got 2, 0, 2, 3, the whole raised to 1 upon 2, 0, 2, 3. And this is getting multiplied by this 2, 0, 2, 3, right? So, now, if this is getting multiplied, means this becomes a raised to m into n. Since there is lack of space, I can directly cancel them. Here, this now becomes just 2, 0, 2, 3. So, that, my dear friends, is the absolute value of x because it is actually giving you your RHS back. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next.